I'm your host, Melena Scantlin, and I've tracked down the experts to get your fitness questions answered, take control of your life, and get the body you've always wanted. Coming up, helpful info you don't want to miss from You Asked For It. We're thrilled to have Pilates instructor and YouTube fitness star, Cassie Ho. Hi. And actress and author <laughs> and yoga guru, Rainbow Mars, joining Hi. us today. Welcome, Thank guys. You. Also here to help is fitness and lifestyle consultant to some of Hollywood's most recognizable faces. And you can also see her on the Live Strong Women channel, Ashley Borden, and master of Pilates and creator of the very successful Windsor Pilates workout series is Mari Windsor. Yay. Thank you. Thank so you. good to have you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we're all like, Mari Windsor is here. <laughs> now ladies, I just want to start with a pretty simple question that I think relates to our topic of fit at any age. As we get older, we naturally have more responsibilities, commitments, studying, parenting, and just so how much exercise is enough, Ashley? Well, I think exercise also depends on you, your lifestyle, and what your goals are. I don't think there's such thing as too much exercise unless it becomes crazy and obsessive. If it definitely makes you feel better, you need to incorporate weight-bearing exercise. You must do that and also to keep your metabolism going, keep your bone density strong. Um, working on balance, core work. So I don't feel that there's ever too much. I feel like you just need to be able to work it into your schedule mm -hmm. and write it out so it's actually in your schedule. It is just as important as a doctor's appointment. That's right. right. And yeah. you, you want to make sure it's something that you enjoy doing because there's nothing like going, oh my God, I've got to wake up yes. and work out. Right. So you yeah. want to yeah. have it enjoyable. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter because you want to look forward to it and you want to give yourself quality time so that you're going to get the most benefit benefit out of it. If you're if you're dreading it and you go into the workout, your technique's going to be off, right. and yes. your timing's going to be off, your balance is going to be off, and, and, it's you, negative. and you can't wait to get it over yes. with, and mm -hmm. it gives you a negative experience. Yes. So I always like to tell people, do something positive for yourself, and don't do it to exhaustion. There's no point, because you know you work out and you have to sleep for the rest of the day. It makes <laughs> right. no yes. sense at all. You want to have fun, so find That's something right. you love. That's right. I have a good rule of thumb is that it's good if you can do it today, but it's also better if you can do it tomorrow and next week and in 30 years from now. So do it in a longevity yeah. style. That's, that's a good a yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, does our age play a factor into how much we should or shouldn't be working out? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I think with age, you have to also look at what's happening with your body. Do you mm -hmm. have any injuries? Um, you know, how is your flexibility, your mobility, um, your strength? So as we get older, I mean, my mom's a perfect example. She's 67 years old, and she is the most ripped in shape she's ever been in her life. She retired wow. and made it her focus to get in the best health of her life. Um, so, you know, we always say it's never too late to mm -hmm. get started in doing it. Yes. Oh, she is. <laughs> I mean, know? I wish I had a photo to show you guys. I mean, she's wow. like holding up her ripped biceps, her back. Wow. But she started weight training. She was a runner her whole life. Then her hips fell apart, of course. And so she started really getting more into the weight training. And I think that that's something I know you're saying you know, don't go to exhaustion. I think it also depends on people's personalities. Mm -hmm. Some people really like very aggressive workouts. Like we were saying, like what you like. Some people like more Pilates or yoga. But what about if you're busy? I mean, Rainbow, you're an extremely busy woman. You're a mom and you obviously find time to juggle workouts and being a mom, so how do you do it? Well, it's like that thing on an airplane where if you can't get the oxygen for yourself, don't give it to other people. If you don't take time for yourself, you're no good to anyone else. So mm -hmm. take that time, even if it's a half hour a day, yes. or I like to do 45 minutes at this point, and then I have so much more to share with That's my right. friends and yeah. family, you know you my career. You good yeah. for yourself, yeah. and it, makes you, it empowers you. Yeah. And you want to be inspiring to people, especially if you're working with people's bodies all day long. You want them to be able to look at you and go, oh, well, she's got energy, she's got vitality, mm -hmm. she seems happy, I want what she has. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Cassie. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any tips for, <laughs> for how to stay committed? Oh, okay. to okay. I, I think to my anything. problem is that I'm committed to everything. Yes. <laughs> so um, I think you've got to really set your priorities. And if you really believe in something, you want to get it done, mm. that will be, you will work out today, you will reach that goal, mm. and you've just got to make time for it. It's got to be a part of your yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. You can't negotiate the yeah. time. I know a lot you of people who no. will negotiate there. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, oh, well, okay, I have a training session, but you right. know what? I can do it. No. no. I know yeah. for myself, no. my training is my, t there is no negotiation of my hour yeah, that right. I train, none. And you're paying for it, so you might as well go, right? Yes. I mean, but <laughs> people who even don't pay for it, it's like, even if you're just going to go yeah. and you're going to do yoga at yeah. home or you're mm -hmm. going to do something, you, you need yeah. to put that time. I it has to, to be a priority. I want to share one visualization. Yeah. It's like, 
if the computer's on and too many like programs are running, the it's computer crashes. Yeah. So yeah. you need to like sleep, press everything, yeah. sleep, and yeah. just defragment and go inside, and then you can function better.